just announced its newest evolution set. So what does that mean for the current reigning champion Evolving Skies? Well, we are going to explore that in today's video, so continue watching to find out. The set is called Prismatic Evolutions, and it is set to release on January 17th, 2025. The Pokemon Center exclusive ETB is now available for pre-order on their website, and in my opinion, the design for this ETB is absolutely amazing. I really love the iridescent rainbow approach. I think it really carries the theme of crystals and prisms throughout the set. The Pokemon Center exclusive ETB will give you two extra packs compared to a regular ETB, as well as two full art promo cards featuring EB. One will be stamped with a Pokemon Center little 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 thing and because the promo card will feature eevee i'm sure this is something that we will all want to get our hands on before we take a look at the prismatic evolutions card list don't forget to subscribe we are on the road to 1k on this channel and i would love if you could be a part of that now we only have a few cards revealed at this time prismatic evolutions is set to have six ace packs 10 ex cards 15 terra ex cards 12 ultra rare supporter cards and 32 sirs we will also see five gold cards in this set we will also see two types of reverse hollows not my washer machine going off um so in this set we will see two types of reverse hollows one will have a pokeball design and the other will be a master ball design now we saw this in the 151 japanese version and now it is making its way over into the english sets now these japanese master balls for 151 have gotten very very pricey the pikachu master ball in japanese is currently going for around 200 dollars ungraded and this is the first time we will see these master balls in the english scarlet and violet era so i'm very very curious to see how pull rates go and pricing as well taking a look at the revealed cards we can see that all eight evolutions will appear in this set which will make it essentially the evolving skies of the scarlet and violet era now evolving skies has seen a massive boost recently with booster boxes going upwards of 700 dollars and you will not be able to find an etb under 100 dollars that's just this is how it is. Now this set had many varying factors which made it so successful. One of them being that it had really poor pull rates so people had to buy more product to get the cards that they wanted and it also had really incredible art. Now we don't know if we're going to see these factors in Prismatic Evolutions and honestly a part of me hopes that we don't as I'm not a part of the investor sphere so obviously I'm always rooting for better pull rates because I want to get my hands on some of those cards okay? I'm selfish. I do think it's too early to tell if Prismatic Evolutions is going to have the Evolving Skies effect, and until we see those SIRs, I don't think we can definitively tell if this is going to be a good set or not. Now, aside from the Evolutions, we also have Pikachu, Snorlax, and Mimikyu appearing as EX cards in this set, which I am personally really, really excited to see. I know those are a fan favorite. And then, taking a look at the common and uncommon cards, we have a Jolteon and Vaporeon with this lovely little rainbow in the background, which again, carries through that prism slash crystal theme in the set. So moving into what product will be offered, Prismatic Evolutions is a special set, so we will not see any booster boxes for it. We will, however, have ETBs, a poster collection, a binder collection, a tech sticker collection, mini tins, a surprise box, booster bundles, and an accessory pouch special collection. So I'm going to give a little rundown of each product and what we can expect to see from them. So starting with the ETBs, you will have the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB, which will have 11 packs and two full art EV promo cards. The regular ETBs will have nine packs and will only feature one promo card. Both ETBs will include sleeves, dividers, all that good stuff, as well as a player's guide, which will include a checklist to check off your collection as you collect. I think ETBs are a great first buy when the set comes out. That is personally my first product that I go to simply because I love having the box to display as well as that player's guide checklist. I think it really, really helps when I'm building a binder for that specific set. So on release day, as well as those ETBs, we will see three other products be released. We will have the tech sticker collection, the binder collection, and the poster collection. So we have seen similar product releases for 151 and Paldean Fates. We had the 151 binder collection and the 151 poster collection, and then we had the tech sticker collection for Peldane Fates. For the Prismatic Evolution Binder Collection, we will have five booster packs as well as a binder that can hold 378 cards. One thing I would like to mention is the 151 Binder Collection was not big enough to hold 151 as a set with all the promos and those special energy cards that we had, so I really hope that we see a different approach taken for the Prismatic Evolution's binder set. The poster collection will feature three booster packs and a two-sided poster featuring Eevee and her evolutions, and it will also feature three promo cards. Lastly, 
the tech sticker collection will feature three booster packs, one promo, and of course those lovely stickers to go with the tech sticker collection. Our next wave of product releases for Prismatic Evolutions will come out February 7th, and this will include the mini tins and the surprise box. As always, the mini tins will include two booster packs, one art card, and one coin. And the surprise box will feature four booster packs, four dividers, and it will feature one randomly selected promo card featuring Eevee or one of the evolutions. Now, this is a really interesting product. We don't quite know what it entails yet, so that is something that we will have to see as the set develops. But I think the concept of a mystery promo card is really, really interesting. And then on March 7th, we will see the release of the booster bundles for Prismatic Evolutions, which will include six booster packs and nothing else. And then on April 25th, we will have the accessory pouch special collection be released, which will have five booster packs and one Eevee themed accessory pouch, which you could put stuff in, you could put, you could put Eevee in it. I'm sure she would fit in there. Now, let's get into the criticisms and critiques of this set. Now, it comes as no surprise that obviously this set did not please everybody. One main criticism of this set, though, is the new gimmick for the Scarlet and Violet era being those terrestrial crowns. They have been called tacky or overall odd looking. Many people have said that this will prevent them from purchasing the set or purchasing any Scarlet and Violet era sets until the crown is gone. Now, I can definitely see where they're coming from. I personally am not the biggest fan of these crowns. I do think that they look kind of dumb. However, I find that a lot of cards can end up making them work, like the Greninja SIR from Twilight Masquerade. That has a terrestrial crown on it, and it is not at all ugly. So I think if done properly, these cards could really be beautiful. So here are some criticisms that people have said towards the Prismatic Evolution set. Sad gimmick, love Eevee, and the idea of different evolution paths, but this is just zero effort. Kind of looks tacky with the crystal crowns, just my opinion, sorry. I don't like the Terra stuff, so I won't be wasting any money on this one. Nothing with the crown is going to hold up long term. Nothing. I see tarot cards, I pass. Dumbest looking gimmick ever. Don't expect this to be the next Evolving Skies. The terrestrial mechanic is generally quite off-putting visually. Now, of course, those are just the critiques. There has been a lot of positive feedback on this set, and I do think it's going to sell out quite quickly. That is why I decided to pre-order my ETB from the Pokemon Center, because I do really, really want to get my hands on this set. Thank you so, so much for watching my video and giving me a little bit of your time today. If you like the video, don't forget to actually go down there and like the video. And if you aren't already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you did so. Thank you so, so much for watching and goodbye for now.